as you guys know, the Z is not running and it's still not running. It hasn't moved at all. So this is round two of me doing the clutch. So I have to drop the transmission and yeah. So we got a lot of work to do. And so if you guys haven't seen what happened in the last video, this is what you guys missed out on. Mission fail. It's leaking from the bell housing. I'm not dropping this transmission again. I've accepted defeat. It hurts. That's why we are going round two on this. So the new part comes in on Wednesday in about five days from now. So I want to get the transmission out just so when that comes in, I can just bolt it straight on, put the transmission back on and get this car driving because I've got a track day coming up in a month and I still have to break in the clutch. So yeah, that's why I, I got to get this job done. And there's a few events towards the end of the year that I do want to go to with this car. So, and also I might be changing wheels. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to get this car running so I can go test fit those wheels and see what they look like because we've got more plans for this bad boy next year. It's going to change. Not majorly, but things are going to change with this car next year. So we're trying to plan everything for next year for this car with the transformation. What that means is we need to get back under the car and take everything off. I want to see how fast I can drop this transmission. Not going to do a walkthrough because I've already done a video on that in two previous videos. I know my hair, I could not be bothered. I, yeah, it is what it is. Once this is all done, I need to start building the Merc, which is outside. I need to start building this thing, hey. Look out for those videos of me building the Merc. I know there's a lot of Z people here and that's why you guys followed me is because of the Z content. Z isn't going anywhere. But yeah, we do have to start building the second project and get ready for next year's event, which is Echelon Invitational. If you're in Perth, follow them on their Instagram. And yeah, cause that's going to be a great big show, especially cause Perth doesn't have this kind of show anymore. Echelon Invitational, check it out. It's going to be wild. Okay, let's try to get the transmission out in one day. That's the goal. Spiders have been under here again. Whoa, that's a lot of, that's a huge spider web. Hopefully the spider doesn't come out and bite me. It's gonna be a fun day. Hopefully. I'm trying to get this off. <laughs> it's crazy how spider webs are so strong. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, let's start messing about. Let's get this job done. I do hope that with my previous experience, this will be a lot easier. Spiderwebs everywhere. I'm gonna get some more teen under here, eh? This brace is off. I might just take this exhaust off from like the mid pipe and the Y pipe, X pipe, instead of having it in two separate pieces or three separate pieces, have it just like one long piece, just so it makes my life easier. Oh my gosh. Hey, mate. Hey, how are you? Good, man. Doing the main job, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do all the time at home with these young, uh, small cars. You see, just put on the table and just go under these. Yeah, yeah. That's how it starts. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Get. Spanner guy, let you put it down for one second. Oh, found it. Oh, that's right. 
these are lock tied it in oh it's gonna be fun bell housing bolts are lock tied it in as well this is gonna be so much fun this lock tight's crazy There's gonna be fluid that comes out of here because there's fluid in the transmission right now. How am I gonna do this? Far out. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Fluid that comes out. Oh. <laughs> yes. This whole section's out. <laughs> Let's go. We are getting somewhere. I need to take off this here for the shifter and then we can start on the harness and the cables. This might look the same as my previous like videos, but like we're doing the same job. So we started at 11 a.m. Pretty sure, I can't remember. I'll look at the timestamp on the first clip. So we'll see how long it'll take us to drop this whole thing. Check this out. Look at this, the whole harness is off. Let's go. <laughs> All harnesses are disconnected. Oh, made it so much easier because I didn't put in this bolt for this bracket here. I didn't put in this top bolt here for the bracket. So it's only this bolt and that bolt that's holding it. The first time you do this, this top bolt is going to be a pain because that's the ledge and the space is like that. Drop the rear of the trans before you try to take this off. It'll make your life so much easier. I'm never going to put in this bolt again. Harnesses are out or oh, disconnected. Um, I'm just going to put in all the bolts to where they belong. I'm interested to see how much clutch fluid is still in the bell housing. I'm, hope, I'm hoping everything leaked out. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Everything on the outside, everything that's attached to the transmission is off, except the transmission mount. And I've taken off this plate that was here, just that plate there. And I took off the plate that was here just to see what's happening inside. These are one of my favorite tools. It's so handy. The ratchet spanner, one of my favorite tools, especially with the flex head. Oh, these have come in so clutch. Cool, that's four. We got, I don't know, I'm just gonna take them off. Okay, we gotta go transmission side now. Okay, so we are actually making really good progress. We're ready to, dropped the transmission already. <laughs> I've taken off all these bell housing bolts here and I've left the two on the sides until I get my transmission jack under here. I was having a look and there is a tear right here. So yeah, so I don't know if this was the, the culprit, but yeah, that's wild. It's like, like torn straight through, so yeah that's fun that's great and also when i wiggle this around you hear that i don't think the clutch line is even in the slave cylinder yeah i don't know what happened maybe i actually cross threaded this clutch line into the csc so that's why it's leaking i did order another csc but I didn't go with the tilted one. I went with the JWT one. Pretty much uses the old OEM lines and everything, but obviously I'm going to change the clutch line into a stainless steel braided one. And also bought a new hard line clutch line thingy because I don't want to use the old one in case there's things inside. And that's what we are waiting for to come in.
long did that take? It is 3.17 p.m. So yes, we dropped the transmission in about four-ish hours. So that's a big, big win. So I also went ahead and took off the pressure plate and the clutch just to inspect them in case any brake fluid got onto them. If brake fluid gets onto the clutch plate, then I need to get a new clutch plate. I just took off the pressure plate and the clutch plate if any brake fluid got onto them. I know brake fluid got onto the pressure plate face but not the fingers. Mission accomplished for today. One third of round two of the clutch. Okay so I think we have really really good news. I don't think any brake fluid got onto the clutch plate which makes me very very happy because I don't know what this is. The pressure plate there was nothing brake fluid on the air surface so that's fine. I'll probably run this and see how it goes. There wasn't any brake fluid left on the fingers. That's why I was checking for if there was any fluid on any of the fingers that means it would have went through onto the clutch plate but there was only brake fluid like on the tips of these. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that for today and then wait for the new CSC to come in and then install that, then put the transmission back in. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, by the way. I would really appreciate it.